of orgasmic living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, empowering you to live orgasmically by including your body in the creation of your life. Today's topic, trust. Trusting you, trusting your body. What is that really? We are still in the first couple of weeks of 2020. There's a lot of stuff out in the world about new year, new you, being you, um, all of this energy around this this new year that we are embarking on and, and creating yourself different in this year. And the thing about that, my friends, yes, it is a new year, but unless you're willing to make changes, you are still you. You are still the same person that you were December 31st, 2019, and you still have the same body. So this new year energy is all about making new changes and doing things different than you ever have before. Now, for a lot of people, doing things different is like New Year's resolutions. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 things different this year. I'm gonna work out every day. I'm gonna change the way I eat. And then you make this long list of 10 things that you're gonna change right now. Right now, and it is possible to change. I'm not saying that, but you have to set yourself up for success, for success. Now, what does trust have to do with all of this? Let's dive into that a little bit. First of all, we have been fed a big fat lie about what trust actually is, okay? A lot of us um, function from the idea that, oh, that person is not gonna do X, Y, and Z. You know, I trust them. Or, you know, my partner, they would never do that because they love me. I trust them. All of that is is a big confusion around what this energy of trust actually is. That is actually blind faith. It's not really being present with what is actually going on and what that person will actually choose. You are blindly trusting right? Something that may not even be real based on your own projections and your own points of views. So I want to dive into what trust really is and how you can trust yourself more, how you can start trusting your body more, and how you can start trusting the universe, consciousness, you know, just trusting that you are supported in this world in what you want to create. So first of all, what is trust really? Trust is knowing that the person, your body, whatever, they're going to choose whatever it is that they are going to choose. Okay, so we're looking at trust right now in regards to another person. Trusting that they are going to do what they are going to do no matter what. Okay, so for example, and I love this example from Gary Douglas, he says, you know, if you're in a relationship and your partner leaves the toilet seat up all the time, you can trust they're gonna leave the toilet seat up all of the time. That's trust, knowing that someone is gonna do what they are gonna do, okay? If you have a friend and you two are always gossiping, you can trust that that friend is gonna gossip. You can trust that you're gonna gossip. Not that they're not gonna gossip about you, but that they're gonna gossip because that is who they are showing themselves to you as, okay? So trust is not blindly saying, oh, this is my friend, so they're not gonna gossip about me, we're just gonna gossip about other people, okay? That's not the way it works. If they're gossiping with you, they're gonna gossip with everyone. So just be aware of that, no know that that is what they are going to choose because that is who they are and they are showing you that immediately, okay? Now let's look at trusting yourself, how to build that trust, how to build that confidence in yourself, how to have that trust with your body and what it may look like when you trust the universe. So first of all, trusting yourself, one of the greatest ways that I have been practicing 
right? This is a practice. I personally, you guys, I grew up with people continuously telling me that there was something wrong with me, continuously telling me that I couldn't be trusted, that I couldn't make the right decision, right? Because every decision that I made was inappropriate in their eyes. Okay, and that actually really eroded my own self-trust in myself, my self-trust in my awareness, my self-trust in my knowing, my trust in myself and like what I wanted to choose and what I wanted to create. And trusting myself, I started to build that and to exercise that muscle by keeping my word to myself. Okay, so if I told myself that I was gonna do something I would do it. I would do it. And that would help build the energy of trust within myself. When you grow up with that energy being eroded in you all of the time, it can be very challenging as an adult. And I can tell you that it is possible to change that. And one of the examples that I can give you about that is, you know, I've been going to this morning boot camp. Um, for a few months now, and I love it. If you've heard me talk about that before, I love going. And when I first started going, you know, there was a little bit of pressure of like, you have to come every day and then you have to, you know, log your food and you have to do this and all of these things. And I was like, if I try to take all of that on right now, I know I'm setting myself up to fail, okay? So I started just showing up every day creating it as a routine and as a habit for myself because it made me feel good, it made my body happy. So that is how I built trust in myself that I would show up for myself every single day. And now that I've been doing it for a little while, now I'm ready start to start looking at the food that I'm eating and what that's creating for my body. So trusting you, step one, keep your word to yourself no matter what it is. And the thing about knowing, right, if you know that you are not, let's say, a morning person, don't set yourself up to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning if you're not a morning person. Like, you have to get to know yourself. Know what you're going to choose. Know you. Because when you know you beyond anything else, then life becomes much more orgasmic, okay? I know myself, I love getting up early in the morning. I love it, I love it, it makes me so happy, more than anything in the world. And if I do things, if I choose things, right, if I stay up super late and then I don't get up in the morning, that I've set, I've set myself up to fail, but I love it. So I keep making those choices every single day. I keep my word to myself every single day. Okay, so let's move on to the second thing, which is trusting your body. The easiest way to start um, creating that energy between you and your body. I'm hoping that you can trust your body to let you know if you have to go to the bathroom. Somehow, your body's gonna communicate that with you. You're gonna get that message and you're gonna go to the bathroom, okay? Hopefully, (laughs) hopefully that's the case. (laughs) So that's one way that you can start um, acknowledging the energy and the communication and the trust between you and your body. Now, one thing that we have to choose is to let go of how we control our bodies. Our bodies have innate wisdom, that they are continuously trying to communicate with us, okay? But if we have controlled our bodies into complete contraction, stiffness, numbness, you know, um, just, you know, people who walk around like this, (laughs) right? I actually did a couple of, um, maybe you've seen them, I will post them below so that you can watch them if you haven't, but I was just up in Sacramento doing a couple of media appearances and one of the one of the tools that I shared during my media appearances was the shaking exercise. And as I watched back the replays of, of my appearances, I was like, oh my gosh, I forget like how stiff people are. 
and how much people control their bodies. And what I mean by that is, I'll just show you really quick, you know, shaking, shaking your shoulders, ah, letting your mouth hang open, letting your mouth relax, like your jaw relax. And I was doing this exercise and I, you know, my body's just kind of all over the place because I've been practicing this for a long time. And when I looked at the hosts, first of all, they were super uncomfortable doing this with me, but hey, they did it with me anyway. But I noticed really the stiffness in their bodies. And that stiffness comes from trying to control our body into submission controlling our bodies into submission I want you to ponder that for a moment how much do you control your body an awakened alive body is responsive an awakened alive body you know receives energy and responds and is present with that energy so if you, for example, you know, if someone tells you a joke, do you laugh? Does your whole face light up and smile and laugh? When you hear music and you want to dance, do you allow your body to move? When you see delicious food and you, you know, for me, it's always like a little piece of chocolate cake and you have that piece of chocolate cake, do you allow your body to respond to that deliciousness? An awakened, alive body is responsive to energy, not at the effect of energy, but responsive. I was watching one of the playbacks and I was doing the shaking exercise with this host and she was like super serious at first and then eventually she kind of let go and she smiled at me and she laughed. And, and in the replay, I can see that energy um, flowing to my body and my body responding by laughing with her even louder than I had been laughing before. And I will put the link below here so that you guys can check it out. And I want to challenge you to watch it and see if you can see what I'm telling you about. Okay. You're, again, an awakened alive body is responsive and alive. And if you're controlling your body into submission, if you're controlling your body into tension, then we gotta change that. One of the best ways to change it is through the shaking exercise. So I would love to offer you guys right now my free gift that I mentioned in some of my appearances, shakingexercise.com. It is a tutorial on this incredibly potent, simple exercise that you can do any time of the day, anywhere if you're really up for it. I do it all the time. The people that I work out with will tell you. <laughs> um, so please go check it out, shakingexercise.com. It's a short little tutorial. You get a video and a PDF and a little how-to video so you get to do the shaking exercise with me. And this, this exercise, I mean, I've been doing it for like 15 years, you guys, and it really helps to break away all of the patterns that you have created in your body and in yourself as a being. So go check that out. Okay, now talking about trusting the universe. We, we a lot of us, me, talk about allowing the universe to contribute to you and receiving energies from the universe and allowing just every molecule of this world to, to contribute to what you're creating. Now, when it comes to trusting the universe, it's like we really got to get out of our heads. All of these actually are all about getting out of your head. Because when it comes to the universe, it never shows up the way that you think it will. It never shows up the way that you maybe want it to show up, but I can guarantee, I can guarantee that if you allow yourself to trust yourself, trust your knowing, to let go of controlling your body, if you allow yourself to do all of that, then you can actually let go and relax into receiving from the universe. And if you get out of your head, get present with your whole body, get present with the energies that are around you, 
then the universe can contribute to you something greater than anything you could have imagined. And one of my favorite questions to invite this energy into your life is one of the most amazing access consciousness questions. And that is, how does it get any better than this? You can use that question in any situation, whether it's an awesome, amazing situation and you're having tons of fun and you want more of it, or when things aren't exactly going your way. Hey, universe, how does it get better than this? How does it get any better than this? And in that moment, allow yourself to relax, to lower your barriers, and to receive from the universe, to trust that consciousness and the universe have your back. Now here's a thing though, that if you don't trust yourself, and you don't have your own back, and you don't trust your body, it's gonna be really hard for the universe to show you. So you gotta take those first steps before here. Number one, trusting yourself, keeping your word to you, choosing things that are a generative contribution to you, trusting your body, letting go of controlling your body into submission and allowing your magical, beautiful, creative body to show you different possibilities and then allowing the universe to show you what else is possible to show you how does it get any better than this now i dive deep into all of these different nuances in my online course the the orgasmic body love experience and if you want to know more you want to dive into trusting yourself the elements of intimacy with you and with your body i would also love to invite you to join me for my master class coming up body friend or foe what if 2020 was the year that you let go of everything and allowed your body to contribute to the creation of your life what if it was beyond the most phenomenal orgasmically alive year for you so join me body friend or foe tools to create your life with your body, diving into intimacy with you and with your body and how you can create more. Thank you all so much for being here. I am so freaking grateful to be alive. How does it get any better than this? <laughs> Have a beautiful day, I adore you all, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.